Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Capricorn. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards resonate and how they do, Capricorn, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading, Capricorn, or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. Now, I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. Also, remember Capricorn, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my weekly horoscope readings, uh, Capricorn, are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider, but never making the choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards, honey. So with all that being said, Capricorn, let's just jump into your reading. I pulled some cards for you just so I could get an idea where it is you guys are currently at in your life. So we have the Knight of Fire for you or the Knight of Wands. We have the, is this the Knight too? No, this is the King of Air, King of Swords. I don't have my glasses on, that's why I can't see. Uh, and we have the Justice card, Archangel Ragul. Uh, this is number eight for numerology. So write down the number eight to look up at a later point, Capricorn, to see how it correlates with you in your life. As well, if you're open to working and connecting with Archangels, what it is you believe and do is none of my business, what your spiritual practices are, Capricorn, but I like to let you let you know your options, and Archangel Ragul is reaching out to you. <clears throat> then you guys have the Five of Fire, or the Five of Wands, coming in. So, hmm. Overall good cards, I feel like you guys are on the path towards something pretty good. But you guys have to, there's like some kinks that need to be worked out almost. There's like a situation that you guys are almost like in the final phases of um, overcoming some type of conflict. Whether this is with a person or whether it just is like a environment or what have you. There's something that you have identified to not be that beneficial or very, that feels good to you, Capricorn. And so now it feels like you're trying to figure out how to go about addressing this situation. It's almost like something that's been like a <clears throat> it's, it's a strange message that I'm getting, Capricorn. But it feels like a situation that I'm connecting to where it's like you've been involved in or enmeshed in the situation for quite some time. But um, <clears throat> it was almost just like halfway through the journey. That's when uh, you started seeing things differently, where it's just like something that you initially liked or someone that you initially liked, someone or something you initially liked or enjoyed or that you thought you enjoyed. Justice card's trying to come out again. So you could be dealing with a Libra or Capricorn, some of you guys. But more so, this is amplifying the message of what has been bringing you out of balance has been the situation, right? But you didn't initially identify the situation as what's been putting you out of balance. Because I see this as like initially you started going down this journey with this because I keep seeing the Nine of Pentacles uh, for you guys, Capricorn. So it's like you guys went on this journey um, and halfway through, I don't know if it's been like this progressive buildup almost where it's just like um, what you initially found to be endearing, you just now find to be completely annoying now. And it's even like, even in the progression of this video, I can't help but feel like for some of you Capricorns, like I'm experiencing you guys just building up more and more resentment or just like a disdain for this five of fire situation, five of wands situation that you initially were at one point excited about that I feel. So let's start getting into these cards. This five of fire says competing goals, bothersome details, and conflict with others. So let's see what this conflict is about. All right, what is going on here for my Capricorns with this five of wands? All right, one more card. All right, let's take a look here. So we have the nine of pentacles, the five of cups, as well as the three of pentacles in the reverse. <sighs> definitely speaks of partnerships coming to a closure. This is definitely letting me know, like, a, you know, regretting, you know, three of pentacles is a part of contracts normally. And so when it's in the reverse, this is a, like, especially the what I was feeling before, it's like you signed your name on something and then now it's like a buyer's remorse 
almost with this situation. Um, but I feel like, it, again, it wasn't initially this way. With this Five of Cups here, it's almost like something happened that just changed the way that you see a situation or the way that you um, see a person, even, Capricorn. And that's, like, changed just everything about this. So now what you initially thought, thought was, like, good for you and would be beneficial for you and something that you really wanted to go the uh, long call with, you are now in this place of just wanting to put distance between yourself and that situation now. Um, you don't want to be part of this anymore. You are just checked out from it. So I don't know if this is like, you know, it's very much so like you weren't aware of someone's like motives until later on when they got more comfortable or like, yeah, it just feels like a situation that was initially that you thought was good for you. Now that you're involved in the situation, you're just looking around and you're like, actually, this actually is kind of toxic. This isn't very, I don't feel good about this right so then we get into your king of swords or your king of air this card says speak your mind with confidence seeking out professional advice and balancing mental and emotional considerations so you're able to identify capricorn the situation that you're like oh, i don't know i don't want to be part of this anymore right you're in this place of um now figuring out the next move for you you know, for some of you Capricorns, I can't help but feel like you guys don't want to uh, call that quits because, you know, I'm hearing like in a sense where it's like, well, since I already started it, I might as well finish the situation, right? I might as well follow through with it. And that's not the, that's not the case. I feel like if you were to be honest with yourself, Capricorn, you know, are you wanting to just commit through it and follow through with this just because? Um because you don't want to just like wash your hands clean of it or are you doing it just because um of a sense that you don't let's see here king of cups is this like a sense capricorn of where you want to stick through with this just because you don't know if anything better would come along queen of cups in the reverse king of pentacles as well in this situation this road just got nothing but kings and queens actually honey wow oh. So I don't know, Capricorn, if you want to just like ride this out because you don't want to like upset other people, right? Because I don't feel like you're thinking for yourself. Well, I don't want to say you're not thinking for yourself, but I don't feel as if you're like prioritizing your own wants and desires, right? I feel like like you're able to identify being like, all right, I don't like this situation anymore. But for some reason in your life, Capricorn, it's not so black and white naturally because it's our lives that we're talking about, not just tarot, but something it's not so black and white for you. And there's some type of out external thing or detail that makes it a little bit harder for you to go about doing things. Now, I don't know if you just don't want to upset other people right you don't want to in feel maybe you feel as if you are an inconvenience to other people or you don't want to inconvenience other people but you are just being called to capricorn to start making decisions just for you you know if you were to look at the situation objectively emotions to the side right what would be best for you right what would feel good to you in this moment what would support you and your current dreams and aspirations you know just because you don't want to upset somebody that shouldn't necessarily i mean that's you know like at some point you have to prioritize your first and your own future rather than the comfort of others right at some point you have to uh identify the issue and call out the elephant in the room right we have the justice card coming in here for you this is the thing that's been bringing you out of balance Capricorn. Uh, this card says, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Standing up for your beliefs. So quite literally, Capricorn, taking a stand for your feeling, thoughts and feelings, not apologizing for having those thoughts and feelings in the first place as well. Capricorn, this is, you know, something where it's like doing what you know, like you know the decision that you need, that you need to make, Capricorn, in your life. And you just have to be willing to stand up and start taking space in the room and being okay with the fact that you're taking up space in the room, right? So let's get into the situation a little bit more for you guys. We have the Eight of Pentacles for you for this Justice card, as well as the Empress card. And then the Wheel card coming in for y'all. This is something that you guys definitely cannot avoid, Capricorn. With this Empress card and this Eight of Pentacles, I do kind of see you guys finally getting to a point where, like, 
I'm going to be honest. I know that I don't make the decision. I know I say I don't make the decisions in y'all's life, Capricorn. But I do see that you guys, I don't know whether you guys are already in the process of it, honey, or you take my advice, uh, that is, of where you put yourself first, finally. I see you guys really starting to, like, learn, like, people's behaviors, learn certain things, and, like, just learning how to maneuver through the world. This, this sounds, that may sound weird, but because again, with this justice card, I don't feel as if you were initially aware of what was bringing you out of balance. And then be, once you get to that awareness, then you're just like, oh, okay, well, let me see, like, you're aware of it and then you start learning from it and whatever the dynamic that looks like for you, right? The wheels start turning for you. This Wheel of Fortune card comes in as let's just drop these cards honey the wheel of fortune comes in of where that's when the progression happens is when you start learning from these old cycles so it's almost like i feel i don't remember if i even said it or if it was just in my head capricorn or where it's like you know with this situation it feels like a right person just wrong time or right opportunity wrong time it feels like a timing thing but maybe it comes off as like a timing thing but it was actually coming into you at the right time like at the perfect time to force you to like uh finally bring closure to a cycle that you've repeated in your life repeat repetitive repetitively right whether even if that cycle is just you never putting yourself first so you had to be brought in you had to have a conflict brought forward to you with this five of wands to force you to finally start changing your habits and forcing you to um put up boundaries with certain things that weren't making you feel good right whatever it was i feel like you were kind of having like it had to be put into your face right you had to be pushed to this decision almost capricorn so um i see you working through this though i really do uh now we get into this night of wands for you or this night of fire this card says a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence and thinking through thinking things through carefully so let's see what this is about. What is this night of fire uh, covering? What is this implying this, that is going down for you, Capricorn? I feel pretty positively about this card, though. <clears throat> and I am right in this sense. So with this Five of Swords here, this Five of Swords is putting distance between you and that thing that was that you initially thought was right for you, right? You identify where it's just like, all right, this is the right person, wrong timing. Um, and you learn to just kind of put distance between it. I really do associate you putting distance, distance between this thing that was more so just like a lesson, pushing you to finally make it take action on something. Um, and then you have this page of wands, which is that fresh start, right? You start leaning into like this night of fire almost uh, changes uh, past that they were going down almost. And they start taking a shortcut, you know, they start cutting through the grass so they can do something entirely differently with this judgment card this is like this is like very much so committed like this is a person that's not wanting to you know for everyone can relate to this i feel right you know when you're just like walking down the side of the road and or in town and like there's a crosswalk like 10 seconds ahead of you but you could just cross the street before the crosswalk right um and so some people take do that or some people just go to take that extra time to walk down to the crosswalk and then walk across um with this judgment card here with this nine of wands this is you kind of like i don't want to say it's like a rushed decision capricorn <laughs> but it's very much so like you deciding to not uh let this pro progress this a little bit further and you just cutting things off it's like kind of like a very sudden thing like you pack your bags and you just go like you just get up and go right there's not really too much prep work here it just feels like it just feels like you almost like manically on some level that i can appreciate um just make a decision where you just drastically shift things in your life or you know like you drastically you just randomly decide to take a road trip somewhere i do feel like um capricorn the next time that we're speaking next week that you you guys that we're going to be speaking um and connecting from a completely different place right i feel as if like your your friend group's going to be completely different or your what you're doing for like i just feel like something's going to be really different about you capricorn when we, when we link back up next week if you check out my other read uh check out your reading uh for next week um but yeah now i want to capricorn get into 
some cards and see what's going on for your love and real uh, social situations capricorn as well as i want to dive into your cards for your financial uh and career situation so if you're interested in either of those stick around we're going to start with your love and social relationships first capricorn and see what's going on there <clears throat> so for you guys you got the uh, Ace of Fire or the Ace of Wands, Seven of Earth, and Four of Earth or Pentacles. Really looking good. Forward movement. And I don't know if you guys are waiting on... Yeah, you guys are definitely waiting on your investments or something. You guys, like, planted, like, made your feelings known or made your thoughts known with the situation with a person. And there wasn't really... I can't help but feel like nothing really came of it at that current point for you. Um, so you've kind of been like this waiting game, I feel like, for you, uh, Capricorn, <laughs> of where it's just like, you haven't really wanted to make a move with this person anymore, you don't know, but, and you didn't know where you stood with this, and so instead of like, before like doing anything more, you kind of just have wanted to wait it out and just see how things just managed with themselves with due time. I do get this sense here, though, this week, um, with this Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands, you're going to start, like, a little bit more traction is going to happen in terms of something that, in terms of some type of social relationship in your life this week, Capricorn, that you didn't quite know that you've been just playing the waiting game on, essentially, if I were to just, like, wrap this up. Um, so definitely let me know what that's about, Capricorn. What it is, what is it that you've been waiting for, um, that you've been wanting to, uh, hear from, right? So now, Let's get into my Capricorns and their uh, financial and career situations. See what's going on there this week for y'all. So Capricorn, we have the World card coming in with the Eight of Air or the Eight of Swords, as well as the Eight of Water or the Eight of Cups. Now, yeah, this is what I feel like a lot of the general readings that are talk, like y'all's general reading Capricorn was what this was emphasizing was, um, a cycle finally coming to a closure towards like your financial, what brings you your everyday stability and pays the bills at night and like all of that. I feel like this is what you're moving on from because this is, this speaks of a situation where something that you felt currently trapped from or stuck in and this like this desire to like move on from this and be like i don't really enjoy doing this anymore right this world card here this is signifies to me of where you know again it's just like the world is like you're living in your own world here and as i was referencing before with that knight of wands um you're living in this own world here and then you kind of like with that judgment as well right you kind of like immediately like cut up cut through the grass right and go to a completely different world and pick up from there um, that's the sense that I have for you, Capricorn, where it's just, you're just, there's just this very, 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 very strong desire in making a transition in your life when it comes to your financial and career. So very interesting cards indeed for you, Capricorn. But that is the cards that I have for you for this weekly reading. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, Capricorn, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading. And then also, Capricorn, I do weekly uh, zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs for their horoscope each week. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them their zodiac sign video, and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Till next time, though, Capricorn, I love you so much.